European Commission decided to delay the date for their final decision on Xbox Activision acquisition, so it looks like the drama surrounding this deal will last a little bit longer. Let's look into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So that's a bit of a surprising news really, because European Commission uh, first announced that they will be making their final decision on April 25th, and that was a couple of days, maybe a week ago, and a few days later they announced that they are changing that uh, deadline, that date, and they will make their final decision on May 22nd. So that's uh, around a month of uh, time difference. Now that's ne not necessarily a, a major uh, issue, I guess, but you know that means that the whole drama surrounding this deal uh, will last a little bit longer. Now, the interesting part is that I'm, I'm just wondering how CMA will react to it because uh, CMA, uh, decided to um, announce their final decision on April 26th or something around that date. And so I wonder if they will actually change uh, their, uh, you know, date for that final decision too. But we will have to wait and see. But there's another interesting thing going on with this deal in uh, European, in, U U U U uh, in Europe, uh, because... Uh, the reason why European Commission decided to uh, change that date was to, well, look into what Microsoft is doing with all these uh, new deals they are signing right now, right? They've signed like three or four deals in a span of like three or four days. And at first I was wondering why the hell are they doing that and why are they doing it that, that fast? Like they are just literally uh, signing these deal with, with with everyone like I mean everyone who deals with cloud streaming and that kind of stuff of course and um, I was like what's the point why are they why are they doing it and why they are doing it so fast and with like literally everyone and it looks like um, there's been some leaks about it. Uh, looks like European Commission doesn't necessarily care about what Sony says about this deal. So European Commission is not really concerned with how Microsoft or how Sony will compete on the market because they don't see any problem with competition in that particular market, console market, right? So they're not concerned with uh, what Sony is concerned with, if you know what I mean. So they're not really following what Sony is is, is presenting, really. Um, they're not really... Um, well, they don't really oppose that, but it looks like they're not really... They don't really care much about what Sony says, basically. Um, but they do care about the whole... Uh, game streaming services and uh, that by kind of arc, um, you know um, infrastructure and that's why uh, Microsoft is just like really doing everything to please European Commission with all these deals because what they're doing right now is just they are giving uh, not only Call of Duty because and this is the big difference right and when it comes to Sony, Sony was just bitching about the, the Call of Duty and oh, how Call of Duty is going to become an Xbox exclusive, which, you know, clearly is not going to happen, right? Especially now when Call of Duty will be on everything, re really, like literally, but uh, with, you know, cloud computing and stuff. Um, but European Commission is actually concerned, was concerned and probably still concerned about uh, what's going to happen with these cloud services. Because I think that they are actually looking and they, they perceive uh, cloud streaming as a future of gaming, I guess. So it looks like, I'm not sure if Microsoft sold them on that or maybe they, 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 they really see that this way. 
but um, they are, like I said, they are not concerned about you know Sony or Nintendo or Microsoft on the console market. They are concerned about um, you know the cloud aspect of gaming, right? And that's why Microsoft is just trying to prove that they won't be making these games exclusive. They don't. And listen, they've made uh, a deal with Nvidia where we, where they will not only provide Call of Duty, I mean, if the deal goes through, uh, not only Call of Duty, but other Xbox games as well. Right. So, you know, you would think that Microsoft would want to put their own games only on their own services. Right. But looks like that's not really going to happen, especially now when they just signing all these deals left and right. And a lot of these deals are not only for Call of Duty, but like I said, with Nvidia and other others, uh, other services as well for other Xbox games as well. Now, obviously, we're talking about like PC versions running the cloud, probably, and that kind of stuff, right? But still, you know, at the end of the day, if you are a game streaming company, uh, you know, you can sign a deal with Xbox and you can actually uh, publish all of their games on your service, right? Now, obviously, that will cost you because like <laughs> it's actually funny because people think that, oh, Microsoft is paying somebody, right? That's not the way it works. It actually works the other way. So it, when Microsoft will sign a deal with one or the other, um, you know, one of these um, streaming companies, uh, game streaming companies, the way it works is that for the right to have a, that particular Xbox game, whether that's Call of Duty or other Xbox game, that streaming service will have to pay Microsoft. Right, they are just signing a deal that they, with, that that will allow them to actually do it, right? And um, it's actually interesting because I think that FTC actually requested some more documentation on these deals too. Um, so I'm not sure if there's if these are very detailed uh, contracts. I think that's what FTC is actually looking looking at as well, looking into as well. And now European Commission. Um, you know, meaning that, I, and clearly I have no idea what they are actually signing, what kind of deals they are making. But, you know, the fact that FTC is actually requesting more information on these deals, uh, because, you know, uh, other than some draft contract and stuff, something has must have been provided to FTC, CMA and European Commission. But looks like FTC, whatever they received, was not happy. Uh, with uh, the amount of data that was actually in these contracts, right? So it looks like they want more information on these deals. So it's interesting that now it's becoming like the whole deal. It all started about Sony, Sony and PlayStation comp complaining about Call of Duty become potentially becoming an Xbox exclusive, and now looks like they don't really care about that anymore. And you know, it's all about cloud now, right? So, which kind of makes sense because, like, whether you like it or not, like, cloud is probably the future of gaming. And, um, you know, I'm not talking about, you know, two, three years for, from now, but 20, you know, 10, 20, 15 years from now, who knows what's going to happen. And, and even I know that even though people say, oh, the, the infrastructure is not there, I mean, yeah, I mean, maybe not yet, but like I said, 10, 15, 20 years from now, 5G is going to be a standard everywhere and you won't even need a cable internet anymore because 5G will do just fine for you, for everyone really, and cloud gaming probably as well, and, um, you know, we'll see how that goes. But anyway... You know, I found this particular news actually quite interesting. There was actually a couple of things uh, happening at the same time. And you know what? Like something is happening all the time. Like even recently there was Microsoft, I think, published like letters from like six or seven different um, publishers in UK, I think, where they were actually uh, pro. They, they were actually supportive. Uh, of the deal so <laughs> yeah i mean microsoft is trying everything literally to convince these regulators to uh, actually allow this deal 
to go through but whether they will succeed or not we'll actually have to wait and see and looks like we'll actually uh, have to wait a little bit longer than um, we thought before at least by you know until end of may at least for uh, European Union's decision, European Commission decision. CMA, if they don't change the date, will probably know what they think about, you know, the remedies and everything. Whether they will block the deal or not, uh, we'll find out about it in April, end of April. So that's kind of good news, I guess. So anyway, guys, that's the video. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks for support. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.